So did you ever think you would hear a politician saying no to a lalbatti, saying no to a sarkari bangla and saying no to even VIP security? Well, that's just what the Aam Aadmi Party has done. Arvind K. Jival has said no to a chief minister's bungalow. None of his ministers or MLAs will be accepting VIP security. None of them will be accepting Sarkari Banglas. Can this set a national trend? Will the Aam Aadmi Party's decision to break the status quo, to break and smash the entrenched VIP culture of Indian politics, put pressure on other parties to do the same? Or will they remain, in a sense, an isolated island in a country that really smacks of VIP culture? Or will the Aam Aadmi Party manage to make the Aam Aadmi the Khas Aadmi. Let's introduce our panel now. We join on the buck stops here by Saurabh Bhardwaj. Uh, he's of course uh, a successful victor in the recent elections, but now not just an MLA, also a minister in the new cabinet. We're also joined by Naresh Gujral, Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament of the Shiromani Akali Dal. We're joined by Vijay Bahadur Singh, Lok Sabha Member of Parliament. We're also joined by Kiran Bedi. Not just is she a well-known police, a former police officer, she has been a key architect of the Team Anna campaign. Once upon a time, Team Anna and Team Arvind were fellow travellers. And shortly, we'll be joined by Harish Salve, former Solicitor General of India. Saurabh Bhardwaj, I must start with you. You know, there may be many things that people agree or disagree when it comes to the manifesto of the Aam Aadmi Party, but I can tell you on behalf of the citizens of India that Everybody, everybody welcomes this fantastic decision to try and break the VIP culture. But Saval Othega, how practical is it? How many of you will actually never accept government accommodation? What will happen to these homes? Will they just like Khali, Jo Bangle Bane Hue, Unka Kya Hoga? So why are these principles so important and how much have they been thought through? Uh, I think you know uh, <coughs> uh, uh, going into the calculations like you know whether those bungalows or flats will be occupied or rented out for an, any other purpose yeah they are they are a different uh, you know uh, debate but it's more about uh, you know breaking that perception yeah. it's more against you know that uh, vip giri or mla giri hmm. we want to just you know smash that culture of uh, mla giri of the giri. my bap uh, ji, nature ji, of ji. politics and and it's a big challenge for all of us and Nothing which has been proposed by Aam Aadmi Party till now has been accepted so easily. There had been a lot of criticisms about anything we do. So uh, we expect a lot of criticism around this thing also. But I think... Uh, Why do you uh, expect criticism? You expect criticism from your fellow netas. Uh, we expect criticism from our fellow netas and sometimes, you know, from some social scientists and sometimes from some social activists. Like, criticism can come from all sides. But uh, we are, you know, we strongly believe in our conviction that once we are able to, you know, bring in this trend, other political parties will be morally bound to at least think about it for sure. And once this thought process starts, I think someday they will start enacting it also. So you're saying this is deeply symbolic. You're not really getting into the finances of what happens to the bungalows, for example, that lie vacant. I think it should be first symbolic and Otherwise, there are financial things also that can be Because I have out. in front of me an article, and I want to take this to you, uh, Kiran Bedi, and then I'll get uh, the politicians in. I have in front of me an article that says that six new bungalows were constructed for Delhi's ministers, and they've remained unoccupied for more than a year. And now with the Aam Aadmi Party also refusing this accommodation, they might remain vacant for a little longer. And they were constructed at a cost of 14 crores. 14 crores. Mm -hmm. bungalow, bungalow uh, uh, Kiran. I'm not even talking about, for example, the 100 crores that have been spent on the 77 bungalows. And we're going to bring up this graphic. 100 crores spent on the upkeep and maintenance of 77 bungalows appointed by central ministers. Kiran, I know you don't see eye to eye with the Aam Aadmi Party on many things, but I have a feeling you will back them completely on this ending VIP culture. Oh, absolutely. I think they're, they're, abs uh, they're on the right track. They're living up to the name of the party. I am glad they've denied, they've declined this kind of uh, VIP culture. I think that's what has actually brought them to power. And I agree with many things which they're doing. The, my difference of opinion only came when they started to say that the Lokpal bill which Anna has accepted is not acceptable. Otherwise, I have no problems with them. They're my good friends and I have nothing against, I wish them well. But I want to say to add two more things for them. Yeah. I have two more ideas. Yeah. Not, take, don't take the Lalbati. Don't take these government bungalows. They're not worth it. They, the government has been spending uh, and wasteful expenditure. Mm. I want them to do two more things. 
One is also travel by public transport very often. Mm. Because if they take public transport, they really get to know the bad situation of traffic management, yeah. also security issues on the buses or the metros. Yeah. So please take public transport once in a while if you can't take it every day. My second thing would be yeah. regularly hold town hall meetings. Mm. If I was a part of them, these are the two things I would have been. But uh, politics is not in my blood. So <laughs> I'm just saying this. A town hall meetings regularly once in a month identify the place the time and hold town hall meetings as and make sure bureaucrats hold it make sure the ministers hold it you will see the world of a change you will not need charter citizen charter and grievance address and bills you will have them already implemented all right, let's sort of briefly respond to that and then I want to go to Naresh Kujral. Sort of on this point of taking public transport is really important because I know that when talk of women's safety, for example, comes up, a lot of women will turn around and say, what do politicians know? They've never taken public transport. And I remember Virappa Moili with great fa uh, f uh, you know, fanfare declaring that he was going to take the metro once a week <laughs> and we have to check if he's actually been doing that. But when the Aam Aadmi and the Aam Aurat sees the Netas and their long convoys and Delhi mein kehte na, root lagta hai. Aur root lagta hai aur VIP security ke liye Lagta hi rehta hai, lagta hi rehta hai. So on this very good example by Kiran Bedi on taking public transport, how would you respond? I think it's a very good suggestion and uh, I personally feel I can promise to uh, Kiran ji that I'll do that for sure. And uh, How often? I think it could be like, you know, once or twice in a month. Hmm. But because, you know, I don't know what all responsibilities I get. So otherwise I could have committed more also had I been a, a MLA. Uh, but it's a very good yeah. yes but it's a very good suggestion and uh, i welcome that suggestion for Naresh sure Naresh Kujral how much of parties like yours going to be forced to change by this new political culture that is taking shape in india and i ask you this because punjab and delhi are among the two states that deploy the maximum number of police people for vip security and if you just look at these numbers, in Delhi, for example, there are 8,320 cops guarding 416 VIPs. But there's only one for 364 citizens. So if you see the difference, uh, sir, you will have to agree that people are extremely angry. Then there is the convoy culture. Aapke jo chief minister hai, his convoy has 12 vehicles. I'm not saying every party doesn't. Bhupinder Singh Huda in adjoining Haryana has two convoys of 12 SUVs each. Naresh, are you going to be forced to change by people like Saurabh Bhardwaj? Barka, first of all, I want to congratulate the Aam Aadmi Party for bringing in this culture. The Lal Bhatti or the PSOs, they were seen earlier as symbols of authority. Hmm. But increasingly, they are being seen as symbols of arrogance yeah. and, and oppression. Yeah. And I think more than the symbols, they really need to get to the bra brass tag and end this oppression. Today, an Aam Aadmi is oppressed by the bureaucracy mm. and, the, the, and the politician who yes. wants to seek rent. Yes. Now, this is what they have. They have to bring in governance reforms and they have to deal with this. As far as Punjab is concerned, I know we have more security there for people, mm. but please don't forget Punjab, in a way, is a special case, just like Jharkhand is, just like Jammu and Kashmir is. Hmm. Pakistan takes an inordinate interest in our affairs, and we have been through terrorism. Hmm. So we, are, we have reduced PSOs hmm. by 2364. 2364 PSOs have been reduced. Okay. And as you said, if the convoy of the chief minister has 12 cars, hmm. I think a scientific study needs to be done. Hmm. that how many cars or jeeps are required for Z plus, how much is required for Z and how much is required for Y. Yeah. But till then, one has to follow what the police is recommending. Okay, I'm going to take that to Kiran uh, on security, but Harish Salve is also with us. And Harish Salve is such an important voice in this debate, Harish, because you have gone to the Supreme Court against this VIP culture, against these lal battis, against these high security, which is called root lag gaya, and, and the traffic for the arm army and the arm aurat gets blocked. Harish Saurabh Bhardwaj, who's going to be a young minister in the new government, as in when it's sworn in later this week, says no to lal battis, no to personal security, no to Sarkari Banglas. How much of a pressure is this going to put on other political parties in our country uh, I hope they uh, set a good trend there's uh, the Supreme Court judgment letter and spirit if it is followed it says holders of constitutional posts would be high dignitaries now question is how high do you want to peg it hmm. 
I would think it should be pegged at the five constitutional heads who represent the majesty of the Indian Republic. That's the Chief Justice of India, the President of India, the Prime Minister of India. In fact, Jairam Ramesh uh, said that immediately. A lo lot of people said that. And I think this culture must grow and it is, I'm very happy that this new government in Delhi has sworn off mm. this nonsense of uh, red beacons. And uh, I hope this uh, casts some moral pressure on the neighboring states. Let me tell you, Barka, today, nothing changes. Today, there was a big traffic jam outside Khan Market mm. because there was a Lal Bhatti with a Jhandewala Gadi of UP government and arrogantly the driver refused to move. He had, yeah. he had double parked. Yeah. Yeah. But Harish, do you accept Naresh Gujral's argument that Punjab, for example, which is the highest number uh, in a sense of police on VIP duty uh, along with Delhi, that that's because of Punjab's tortured history in a sense? Because I do want to ask Naresh why that means that every MLA needs a Lal Bhatti. But Harish, do you accept that in some cases the security perception First of all, will be genuine? Uh, Barkha, we, we thrashed this out in court. Yeah. And there was no explanation as to why a red beacon which marks you out as a VIP adds to your security. Hmm. I mean, th yeah. th that's absolute exactly. nonsense. So, if you see, if you see the way in England, the uh, Prime Minister, British Prime Minister goes, it's completely inconspicuous. It's a Jaguar car which sort of zips past you. Hmm. You don't even know, or it's a land, it's a Range yeah. Rover which zips past you. You don't even know yeah. who it is. Yes, there is a there is a history of uh, troubled uh, security uh, in Punjab. You need a scientific evaluation of what is the kind of security they need. And believe me, this is not required at the level of the MLAs yeah. or the level of your tehsildars or your level of district officers. I can understand today somebody who's mischievous targets the chief minister of, Paki, of uh, Punjab because um, you you make a point of uh, yeah you know creating trouble in a state like that and how they are to be protected completely in a manner which should be as discreet as possible, as invisible as possible. Okay, Naresh, Today, do you... the idea yeah. is you make it a demonstration of strength. Absolutely. Naresh, do you accept that uh, the Lal Bhatti has nothing to do with security? And then I want to ask Kiran uh, what this does to policing to have so many police people on VIP security. But one sentence from you, Naresh, do you accept that the Lal Bhatti has nothing to do with safety? I, I agree with Harish that Lal Bhattis must go. They are not required. In fact, they create more of a problem because then the car is marked out. And if somebody has to attack the car, then he knows which car to so attack. So why, why, aren't, why aren't any MLAs taking the lead in Punjab to give it up? Why don't the Akalis, Naresh, like the Ahmadmi party here, say, hum, we don't want the Lal Bhatti? It has to go. Why? Yeah, it has I, to go. I, I cannot the speak Supreme for Court the MLAs. It has to go. But yeah. I can speak for the government. Yeah. Why don't I, you? I can speak for the government. And yeah. strict orders have been given to to remove all the lal bhattis, and we will follow it in letter, uh, letter and spirit. Yeah, but that's... yes, whether the ministers will be entitled or not is being debated, and a decision would be taken soon. Now, uh, uh, Kiran Bedi, what does this do to policing to have so many police people on VIP security? What does this do to the rights of the citizen? Especially when you look at the proportion, and then I'll come to Vijay Bahadur. Kiran. <coughs> oh, in, in India, we have just one cop for average 1,000 people. One cop. When it should have been one cop for 225, or, that's the UN standard. Yeah. Why? Uh, there is one audit which just happened in the police department, is human resource audit. We have a financial audit. But the human resource deployment audit never happens, which is why there is a lot of deployment which is scattered. Mm. As Inspector General Chandigarh, I remember one of the first things I did was a human resource audit and I withdrew about 180 people who were just deployed in certain, in certain houses and certain people. This is the point is who does the audit? It's the Inspector General, the head police headquarters. Yeah. And there is no external audit of human resource deployment. Now, I want to remind Mr. Gujral, because I have great respect for Mr. Gujral, what were Punjab security guards doing with Ponti Chadda? Remember when Ponti Chadda was shot down? Punjab security guards were around them. Yeah. Who deploys them? Who allows them? I think that's the, the kind of uh, audit which we must ensure. And we must squarely hold police senior police officers or the ministers or the MLAs responsible for allowing this kind of diversion. Because every man, every police person means reaching out to 225 people. Yeah. I think so at the moment that's the kind of loss. 
I think all Punjab security, Haryana police security, I think we, we must go in for a human, res human resource, as, Mr., uh, um, as um, uh, Mr. Salve said, there is no scientific evaluation. No, it is also not audited. We have financial audit, but yeah. never human resource uh, deployment audit. Naresh, that is want mandatory to briefly and that, that should be external. Naresh, Only then will all this manpower. External auditing of, of who needs all what security. Naresh, quickly, if you want to respond on the Ponti Chadha point. I, I agree with that. I agree with that entirely. As far as Ponti Chadha is concerned, as far as I know, <laughs> many industrialists in Punjab who had their factories or, or uh, uh, businesses on, on the border areas and felt threatened were provided security. He asked for it because he felt threatened and security must have been but provided. I don't the know the details of the case. the ordinary citizen, Mr. Gujral, the industrialist surely I agree, I agree entirely. I, thereafter, as I said to you earlier, almost 2,600 security guards have been withdrawn from VIP securities. And we are constantly evaluating it. Okay. And we intend to remove even further. Okay, Vijay Bahadur Singh, I remember last time you are being a very passionate defender of VIP security. Are you still going to defend it? Ki will you accept Mohal Badal Gaya hai? Now to defend it is to be hated by the citizen of this country. <laughs> no, no, Dikhe, everybody, it is very easy to talk simply. You take, in so far Punjab is concerned, do, do you remember that two chief ministers were shot dead? How Pratap Singh was, Kero was killed? Then another chief minister was killed. In UP, the Home Minister was killed. So by withdrawing the security, there is no solution. All this happened with then, all then, your red no, beacons no, and no, all I, your Z I, security. No, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, I, I'll, please permit me to... Uh, by marketing the problem, solution is lacking. Hmm. What, what is this? Uh, coming to the main focus. Yeah. Who don't uh, Main focus is the Aam Admi says uh, they, they will not live in the official Bangalore. Hmm. They will live in the servants' quarter. They no, not, they have not said that. They will live in their own homes. <laughs> Saurabh, can you please clarify, you know, you know where will you live? He considers listen, people as listen, servants. Listen, listen. So he no, one minute, one minute. Vijay Bahadur Singh. Let Saurabh speak, clarify that. They have Saurabh. always considered the common people of this country as their servants. And no, so no, he common calls it people, servant the common quarters. People, all right. It's nothing all right. new. If, if you Parka, are, that's a if Freudian please, slip. Yeah, Harish, wasn't it? Harish, wasn't it a Freudian slip? Was it a Freudian slip? The ruling class considers us servants. So our homes are servants' quarters. Yeah, it was a Freudian slip. Bharkhaji, 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 Bharkhaji. What did you mean by that? <laughs> no, no, I mean this. Hmm. If, if Mr. I'm coming directly. Hmm. If Harish Salve hmm. is, driving, is driving Q7, Mm. He's dying BMW. Mm. Only one gentleman is passing and, and two crores and burning petrol. Is it justified? It's his own Common money. <laughs> it's not the taxpayer's no, money. It's not no, no. the taxpayer's money. Please, by all means, no, no. you no, earn an honest why living. Why can't and you I'm a taxpayer cars if you want and that to. is post-tax paid money. Yes. No, no. What, what is the tax paid money? Why, why are you burning petrol unnecessarily? Why are you crowding the roads which are over -choked? You are you are coming you are coming to the go, uh, to the market huh. with a big part. Why don't you come in there? No. What is wrong about it? Okay, Harish, let, do you really want to respond to this? Now, Mr. Vijay Bahadur Singh, before I ask Harish to respond to this, are you also supporting the Lal Bhatti? No, Lal Bhatti is not the issue. Okay. Issue is to what is the problem of Aam Admi and what is the solution which this government is facing and why, why don't why you agree is, and why don't you agree why don't you agree with the decision to not live in the sarkari banglas what is your problem with that vijay bahadur i, I may tell you huh. supposing tomorrow 200 people 200 hmm. people are wanting to meet the chief minister hmm. in in a private can he accommodate can he can he can he meet the about 500 people at one time so this is not this then all right vacate the president house let this president house should be, uh, should be, uh, the food grain should be kept in the president house. The president <laughs> should live in, in, in RK Puram. That's all. Okay. By, this by is... gimmick this problem, you, you must find the solutions. Not by, by, by not wearing the good clothes, you, you think you will provide the clothes to other people. What is the problem for which this government has come? Please answer and meet I'll tell problems. you the difference, the, sir, but I'll let Harish respond. i let Harish respond. The difference to me, Harish, is that it's not the janta's pesa. How somebody yeah. lives uh -huh. is their personal choice as long as it's honestly Useless. earned money. Uh -huh. Okay, Harish, respond to Vijay yes. Bahadur saying that tomorrow Rashtrapati Bhavan may be bold though it's too luxurious, uh -huh. it's too uh, flamboyant. Respond uh -huh. to his Good point. See, hmm. let us uh -huh. know. Okay, okay, like okay. Vijay Bahadur him. ji, let Harish respond now. Yeah, Harish Sadhguru. <laughs>
I would like to answer him. Rashtrapati Bhavan, the Rashtrapati's quarters are uh, on the second floor, which are his personal quarters. It is the symbol personal of the quarter? Republic of India for which Dada has some no people quarter. in public yeah. office have no respect. Yeah. Mm. For us, it is it's it's something we respect. It's yeah. the symbol of it's the Republic of India. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Republic means it comprises of us. Yeah. Of us, yeah. the Aam Admis. Hmm. And so let's be very clear about that. And the, if the President of India lives there, because he symbolizes the majesty of the Republic. Hmm. Other than that, I have always been a great votary of saying instead of having these farmhouses in Lutians, Delhi, make three big buildings, give those flats to ministers, you will reduce your costs on security, yeah. you will reduce your costs on transport. Yeah. And you will make life so much simpler for Delhi police. Yeah. Impossible. All this uh, prompt and brouhaha should now be Vijay, Maha Vijay Bahadur ji is know, saying impossible to you. Seriously with this. Harish, Vijay impossible. Why is it impossible? He's again, imp yes, I will tell you. In Uttar Pradesh, you just come, uh, come to my state. I represent Lok Sabha member of parliament from Uttar Pradesh. There are 20 crores people. If you withdraw all the security, you will not provide one crore for 5,000 people. How it is possible?